with my helper here. We're going to move the chicken tractors. They're kind of heavy, so it's easier for me to move them with the quad. So they, and then they need more food. So yeah, we're going to move the chickens, bud. pulled this one forward a bit but then they were all staying in the back so I just left it because I knew they'd figure out there was grass and come forward. But Hamish was taking these guys to feed and water out so we can move them and you found a nice little egg. We love bantam eggs. They're so tasty. Looks like they don't need any more feed. You can just pick the straw out of there. They do need fresh water and we're going to move them onto fresh grass. So when we move them right behind them you're like oh it's so gross but then you look back a few moves and it's already growing back nicely and um, like over here is where they first were over here versus there as they're getting bigger and you got an egg for breakfast as they're getting bigger we're having to move them more often and I think I'm gonna be moving them like every day or every other day we were only moving them every few days at this point and then I thought Marius had moved them but he hadn't which is why this one is also so beaten down anyways we are gonna throw their feeders and waters back in now. Working on some bedroom tidying today. Ham's trying to put a belt on. We've been spending so much time outside that bedrooms don't really get touched very much other than to get trashed. And the boys used to share a dresser, but now we've turned Hamish's. One of the closets in his, his room. We had all these in the basement. We didn't have to buy anything. Sorted it out so that the boys each have their own dresser now. How's your room going, Mac? Yeah, the boys used to share a dresser forever, but now that they're bigger, their clothes are bigger, and they didn't fit in there very well. But I actually think maybe, Mac, you have too many clothes, and that you need to pick some to put away for next year or send to the thrift store. Maybe you should take out some summer clothes, because it doesn't really seem like we're doing much. There's, there's still nice. There's not much summer left. What's up with your room? Oh no, we're not going into our room. Rowan's sleeping in there. Laundry to go downstairs. How's your room look? I think Rowan's sleeping. I will check. Along with time blocking my day, which makes a huge difference, these are just some notes to do with things. I also take the things, the big things I want to get done in a week, and split them out between all the days of the week so that um, the tasks I want to get done, I make sure they get done. I'm also meal planning today, so I just dug into the freezer for some different things. Um, we'll have this coho salmon tonight. Um, this is a pork jowl, venison braising steaks, pork shoulder roast, and ground venison. I'm going to put multiple of these just in the fridge. This is our second fridge downstairs. I'm going to put a bunch of this in there to slowly thaw out all week and then I'm going to go upstairs and make my meal plan. So we've made this is our fridge full of milk. This is our milk and beer fridge and cheese. <laughs> I put the jowl, the venison braising steaks, and pork roast in here. I'm going to bring these two things upstairs to the upstairs fridge to use today and tomorrow. Also making some phone calls um, because it's August and soon we're going to be using our wood furnace again. We want to get our chimney sweep swept, sweep swept, and our wood and electric furnace serviced. We can sweep our chimney ourselves, but our chimney is super huge like three stories and has some angles to it and Marius and I just decided that we're springing for paying for it which is a first for us but we feel it's worth it for fire safety so we have 
grilled coho and potatoes. I'm going to do that all in the barbecue. Uh, taco night, I'm going to have a taco salad for no grains. Big game round steak, I'll link that below. Mashed potatoes. Slow roast pork, that'll probably have more potatoes. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. alert. We're going to be eating a lot of potatoes. We started digging them. Holy cow. We're going to the fair Friday night, leftovers, and then ramen that we'll make with the leftover pork. So, Mary's and the kids started digging potatoes yesterday. They dug not even a full row, and we have 11 rows, but we got 100 pounds of potatoes. So, we're going to have a few potatoes. And we had potatoes for breakfast. We had potatoes for dinner last night. Basically, all the potatoes, all the time. Good thing our family loves potatoes. And that's why we planted so many, because we love to eat them. Um, I'm trading some with my sister for garlic. Just... They're a good staple, and we have a root cellar that we can store them in. If we didn't, we would not grow so many. This little squirrel is up from her nap. Oh, where's my timer? I'm making a pasta salad for Mary's for lunches. He likes to bring pasta salad in his lunch. So I guess I should go see if the pasta is done. Just when I finally sat down for a break. <laughs> Our sunflowers are getting so tall. We got peas to pick. What else do we pick? We should pick, check the green beans and the broccoli. Calendula doesn't look like it needs to be. We need to pick. Hmm. I need to check pickling cucumbers too. I'm super impressed with the size of my spaghetti squash. Our outdoor tomatoes have done pretty much nothing, which is okay. What's in here? Oh, zucchini, and again, it's so wet that we get ones with this rot on the end that just get chucked. It's a yuck one. So we got some zucchinis. We picked them small and one little cucumber. We like to pick them small. I'm gonna pick an armload of kale for the pigs. And then we're gonna pick rest of the ripe peas and hopefully weed those leeks that really badly need it. You know why? Is that yummy kale? I know the electric is not on right now. It's also kind of caterwampus, but I can't go in there and take it out because the pigs are kind of brutal and I don't want to get bit by them. It's fun going in there. Oh, I don't go in there. You don't go in there either, bud. That's not there. safe. Um, there's a toxin in potato plants and that's why they can't eat the potato plants. But they love these broccoli plants. They're just ones that the broccoli was we all bolted on. So potatoes. That's yeah. Nice. yeah, I know. I pulled them out of here so they didn't eat them. No. You're gonna need to do more picking, less eating. So I have no recipe for you, but I'm making pasta salad. There's a pound of cooked pasta, a bunch of homemade feta creamy Greek dressing that I kind of followed recipe, kind of made up. Now I'm chopping up some peas and I'm going to chop up some cucumbers and it's all going to go in there for Marius' lunches. He loves to bring pasta salad in his lunch and it's easy for me to make a big batch at the beginning of the week and him take it for days. So I, because it's Monday and there's four work days left in the week for Marius, i got four things of watermelon and four things of pasta salad. I'm going to put them in the downstairs fridge and it'll make mornings easier because I just have to grab one of each. I don't always do this for his lunches, but when I do, I'm always so happy I did. And rascals can't help but help themselves to a bowl of pasta salad too. Is it yummy? Yeah. Hot. Oh, is it spicy? Mm -hmm. mm, it's because I made it for daddy. Oh, you put black pepper in it. That's what I need it for. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. So because we are drowning in milk from our cow, I just skimmed some of the cream off of a couple gallons. And then you can see back there, there's a couple plastic buckets on the floor. And those are food grade plastic buckets. I have a few gallons of milk in them and I'm gonna let them clabber, which is you let raw milk sit at room temperature and within a couple days it separates into curds and whey. And it's easier for chickens to eat this way. Way. So I am clabbering some milk to feed to our meat birds. 
And some of you may be horrified that, but guys, I'm like drowning in milk, so everybody gets to drink milk. So the baby just went down for a nap. She went down for a nap earlier, then I accidentally woke her up, and then she was hard to get back down. The big kids are watching a show, it's 2.45. I should like clean the kitchen and stuff. Honestly, I wanna do something just for me. So my sister gave me an old computer that basically just has like Netflix capabilities. So, we have an iMac, we don't have a TV, we don't have a laptop, we just have this iMac. So the nice iMac is gonna go up to our bedroom, into like an office space for me to work, and the older computer is gonna go into our living room to be our TV. And I'm really excited about this because it means that I can work on YouTube and blog stuff that Marius can like hang out with the kids downstairs while I could be in my office. And Marius is excited for it for me too because I've maybe been complaining about needing some time to work on things. But I don't have a laptop and I live like half an hour from a coffee shop. I'm not gonna drive half an hour just to work. I don't know, maybe, I don't have a laptop anyways. So, point being, that whole scenario where moms go to a coffee shop to work doesn't work for us. We needed to figure out something else. So this is our spare bedroom. The bed folds down, that's the bedding on top. Well, it's kind of catawampus in here because there's random things stored in here. Um, but this is in here. So I need to do some reorganizing in here, but for now this is here and I'm quite excited to have this space. So it's about 4.15, let's see what's going on in our house right now. Mac is pouring himself a mug of chocolate milk. We'll have to show you how we make chocolate milk one day, won't we? Hamish is on the floor, but Rowan is half naked, so you don't get to see her. Got some dishes to wash. I just skimmed some more cream. I decided I needed to make a batch of cheese. So I've got four gallons of milk going here for Asiago. And... I know you guys really want more cheese tutorials. <laughs> it's not 4.15 at all. It's funny. But some cheeses take so long to make that they're just not practical to make tutorials at this point. Warming up a bottle for the baby. I got cream that's coming to room temperature to make butter with. And Freya just brought me some potatoes I'm going to wash and make scallop potatoes for dinner. So I don't normally use the quad to feed the pigs in summertime, although I'm not sure we can call it summer, it's almost nine o'clock at night, and I'm just feeding the pigs now. In between, I have cheese in the press that needs to be flipped, blah, blah, blah. Blanching peas and making butter and all the things because it's summer. Got a bucket away to bring to the pigs, and then I have a whole bunch of buckets that I'd collected up from around the yard when I was on the quad earlier today, so I'm just gonna bring them back down to the feed shed so I don't have to make multiple trips. I'm just gonna do this with the way now. So let's go feed some pigs. So I got the pig's feed here. It's um, This is a locally grown and ground and combined feed. I got two buckets. These are four gallon, not five gallon buckets. I find they're easier for the kids and I to manage two of at a time. And uh, we don't weigh the feed. We just kind of go by, we want there to always be a bit left at the next feeding. We don't want them to be hungry and getting bored. So if there's none left, they need to be fed more at the next feeding, basically is how we do it. This is one of the board panels that comes up and down for easy feeding without having to go in. Happy piggies. So this is my cheese press that I use for wheels of cheese, like hard cheese. And when you make a batch of hard cheese, it takes kind of three to four hours off and on. There's like chunks where you sit, it waits for an hour type thing. And then it goes into the cheese press, usually for half an hour, and then you flip it and press it overnight. So starting it kind of just before dinner is a good timeline that, like if I started at three or four in the afternoon, I can't remember what time I started this, maybe not till almost five, if it's nine right now and I'm doing this. But now it's gonna flip and press overnight. And then in the morning, it will get thrown in a brine for 24 hours and then depending on what the rind looks like. If it's really smooth and nice and I did a good job, I'll do like a, it'll just stay like that rind and I'll put olive oil on it to do it. If it didn't turn out good, then I'll probably just vacuum seal it.
going. The kitchen's fairly clean. There's a couple things, but honestly, they'll just go in the dishwasher in the morning. I don't care. Over there is like to-do lists and more way for the pigs. The coffee pot is set. Counters are pretty clear. All my kids are asleep. The husband is already in bed, and I'm going to go join him. It's 9 o'clock. We have to go to bed early to run all day like we do. So have a good night, everybody.